Hey folks and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. This is Old Car Guy. Despite not having a beard, today we've got a big announcement to make regarding blackjack, so stay tuned. So in this episode, it's going to be a little bit of update as to where we are so far on this project. So let's jump right into it. You all know that I was able to buy this car as a no start for 900 bucks. You see, I may or may not have bought another Grand Marquis. And when we got the car, it was something very, very simple that we were able to fix to get it running again. And then I happened to notice this little switch over here and the light or the LED was flashing green. It's not currently flashing green, but when I pressed the button, I heard something click. I reached up. Nice try, Tim. <laughs> and the very first thing we did was we went over the entire car with scotch Bright and scuffed it down to help get rid of some of that chalky look to it. Now, it's just like a flat black and the chalkiness is starting to come back in certain areas but nevertheless we got it looking a little better than when we first bought it and then well we lifted it and put 31 inch tires on it So it's a three inch lift to brand lift all the way around front and rear. We've got the ones that go above the strut towers up front that bring it up as well as the little lift perches on the springs in the back. We then added 31 inch tires to give it a total of roughly about a five inch lift all the way around. We went back to the steel wheels that we had and with these Hercules tires, they're gonna do really good this winter. And then I felt it was time for a little bit of accessorizing. So we put a storage basket or a carrier on the roof. We then outfitted it with a Larry light on the front, one on the side, and a couple back here pointing in the back. And with those came all the wiring involved to get them hooked up. So we did that as well. And then to top it all off, we added the high beam LED lights in the grill. While we were at it, we had the grill off. We decided it was time to scuff that up and flat black that to match the rest of the car. And one of the things that we didn't have with this car when we bought it was a spare tire. So we've got this 235 75 16 spare tire off of another vehicle. And I found another rim that will fit the car. And I made my very own bracket to hold it on to the storage basket. So now that we've got this ultimate look that we were going for with this car, with it lifted, with the basket, the lights, the spare tire, the flat black paint job and the big tires, I'm extremely satisfied with the way it looks. And now it's time to start prepping for some performance upgrades. Now, if you guys have been watching this channel for very long, you'll know that I do have another 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis that we call Grandma. And in a video not too long ago, I'm gonna leave that right up here we swapped out the stock 273 gears for 327 track lock and we're going to do the same with project blackjack and because we want to get the ultimate performance out of this car we decided on this live stream last friday night that we're going to end up putting turbo on this car now my buddy luke from over at coastal auto reaction who is out in vancouver island british columbia has opted to give me or donate to the channel a turbo for this car. So there's half the expense already. And after setting an initial budget of $1,000, we can use that for certain things that we're gonna need, like possibly blow off valves, intercoolers, and piping. So based on an episode of Faster Problems that I saw not too long ago, Jeremy had outfitted his car, his Crown Victoria, with a turbo that he mounted right in here. There's lots of room for one, I believe, because all we're gonna have to do is take the cooling fan and possibly move it to the front side and that way we've got the room we need to make it happen. 
All I've got to do is figure out how we're going to plumb the exhaust because that's going to be the trickiest part and getting those old crusty manifolds off. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So I hope you guys are excited as I am to get this thing on the road with a little bit of extra power in the rear and a little bit of extra power up front pushing. So it's time to get to work on this thing so in future episodes you guys are going to see us doing the rear end swap and figuring out how we're going to get this turbo working. So stay tuned to Old Car Guy for all the upgrades on this car that are still to come. And don't forget, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is having a Christmas special coming up very shortly on December the 17th. It's a Thursday evening, same time, and it will be over on Grant's channel for the big celebration. So grab a cold snack, sit down to relax, and enjoy us for some Christmas cheer. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you all. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.